my name is Amy Ecker and welcome to my channel. So today I kind of did a big haul and I'm hoping my husband doesn't decide to look at my channel today because he doesn't need to know everything. So I've ordered several things and I wanted to share those with you. And so if you've tried any of these, can you please let me know? I'm stretching, I'm stretching for the camera. Okay, so I am part of Sephora, so some of these might be free through the Sephora rewards. So if my husband is watching, I got free stuff. And so let's go through some of the stuff I got from Sephora and Ulta. So I do only wear Burberry perfume and I wanted to try to get outside of my comfort zone of a decade using the same perfume. So I did purchase the Sephora favorite sampler and so far the I only disliked one of the six so I can't complain about that one and they are full-size roller balls so if you, this is great for traveling in fact I'm headed to my nephews I got two nephews graduating this week and I'm taking this with me then Okay, I'm bouncing. I'm gonna bounce back and forth between so Sephora and Ulta. So, if you ordered a certain amount on Ulta, you also got something free. Rob, ignore the you had to buy stuff to get something free. If you're watching, just ignore that piece. I got something free. That's all you need to know. Okay, so when you open this up, it has a quite a few different colors, and I can't wait to try the seafoam green. That is absolutely beautiful. It has a contour, a highlight, some blush, some lips, and an eyeliner in a dark brown. So I thought this would be great if the eyeshadows and blushes work. I'm not sure that I've ever tried Ulta's brand in eyeshadows, so if you have any thoughts or questions, put those below. So again, I thought this would be great to travel with so that I only have to take one palette but we know that's not going to happen. But I like so the So then I went to NYX and purchased the Ultimate Palette. It's got a ton of um, bright colors, so I'm looking forward to doing a festival and look with speaking these. speaking of bright and shiny, I bought um, these different Vivid Bright eyeliners i really want to try the look with the little flowers i know i'm way too old for little flowers but i can't help myself so that could be a fun kind of look so i had to buy all of these because well flowers come in multiple colors so looking forward to trying next Those. is part of my free yes rob i got this for free i'm picking on my husband i swear to god i hope he doesn't watch this video so um in this little package from dior i got a little dream skin i got a little perfume called miss dior and i haven't smelled it yet eh, i'm not sure that i'm gonna be wearing miss dior that kind of smells like an old lady although i am an old lady so maybe i should then it comes with Dior Show Mascara. And how cute is this? A little lip maximizer, it's so tiny. So I love the fact that it fits in this little bag here. So cute. Then, all right. this was just on an off purchase. I did get the eyebrow stamp. I just wanted to try it. So we'll see how well the eyebrow stamp does to give maybe a little more definition i got this i think on amazon so be prepared i might be stamping back soon. to the free stuff rob so i got some i think it's basha charcoal makeup melter it's in a little container here so i wanted to see how the charcoal melted the makeup and hopefully clean the skin lovely. I do love metallic lips. I love anything lip wise that is shiny and bright. And so I did purchase the trifecta of Zeus, Athena and Apollo. This is from Ulta. So this is their own brand. Very excited then, about that. I, I don't know. I love glitter and shininess. So I did buy the glitter tears uh, trifecta and Galaxy Comet and Solar. Not sure what I'm going to do with those, but when I saw them, they just looked too pretty. 
I did purchase a hydrating face mask, so looking forward to um, using that because I do love face masks. So I keep masks. hearing about the Estee Lauder Double Wear, and I purchased one of those, and this color is in Ecru, so we'll see how close that is to my skin tone. Um, I love purchasing online and for the most part i do an okay job then i got the ulta rainbow highlighter from from ulta and it came broke so i'm sure i will play with that with some festival makeup i got all kinds of little samples to try um, what else did i, I get here i'm going to be trying the natasha denona full coverage foundation. Real excited about that. I've seen that online also, so we'll see how these foundations do. I like going all over the, the board as far as foundations go. And I've already packed the Revlon Color Stay. It's supposed to be maybe a new formula, so I'm gonna try it this week while I'm out of town, and then I'm gonna do a review on half the old um, brand of Revlon Color Stay, and then half the new formula and see how that works. I did see a YouTuber and I wish I would have remembered her name. She had the prettiest lips and I found out it was Burberry. So she used the Burberry Dusky Pink number 406 Lip Velvet. And for a nice neutral color, I'm hooked. The only thing I wish is that it lasted longer. And I love the packaging. It has the Burberry in a, which you probably can't see, but in the packaging, it's like a barely off in color and it is magnetic. So I don't know why, but I love mag magnetics with cosmetics. Then, it's just fun. let's see what else we got. So I got the Marc Jacobs package. Very excited about trying this. It has the Marc Jacobs primer. It's got a mascara and it's got a lippy. It also had a um, eyeliner, but I pulled the eyeliner out because I already had it in that color and I'm giving that to my sister-in-law when I see her this week. And Marc Jacobs has a nice color here. And this one is kind of a neutral mauve and this is called Slow Burn. So when I saw this package here from Marc Jacobs, I decided it needed to come home with me because I love me some Marc Jacobs. The foundation by far, his foundation is probably my favorite with a nice matte finish that lasts throughout the day. So absolutely love, love me okay. some Marc Jacobs. Then we have some Makeup Revolution palettes. I've got the Flawless number three resurrection palette and look how pretty that is Ooh, it's so pretty and it's got some amazing colors on the inside so i do love makeup revolution overall i really have enjoyed them as dupes so we're gonna see how this compares in a dupe video and very because soon it was like buy one get one half off I also purchased the Flawless Matte 2 palette, so we'll see how the Flawless Matte 2 palette works also. Then, because I love trying facial primers, I got the e.l.f. Poreless Facial Primer, so we'll see how e.l.f. does, because I have some on the high ends, and now I want to try on the less expensive These end. two little guys I'm super pumped about. I haven't used them yet, obviously, since they're still in the package, but I love the fact that there is a dry shampoo pen, so I can throw that in my purse. The humidity is high, and it's just nice to be able to spritz some dry shampoo if you need it. And then I love that they have the Flux and Firm hairspray pen. So these can both fit very nicely in your purse. And I think I love those. Haven't used them yet. So I'm hoping that they work as well as the packaging is because I love the fact that they're small and sleek and you can drop them in your purse and it doesn't take up then, a lot of room. Last but not least, oh, nope, I lied. So then I got a uh, Color Sensational Maybelline and Nude Whisper. I was watching, dang it, another YouTuber who used this along with Max 
blankety and she put on a gloss on her lip and it just really looked gorgeous. So I had the blankety, I just needed the nude whisper. So guess what? I got me some new whisper. Now, last but not least, along with all the little free things, is I did purchase the Wet n Wild Unicorn. I love the packaging alone, so that was worth my me purchasing that. So basically, this is my recent haul. I can't wait to get started on playing with these different products and I hope you enjoy them also. If you've used any of these products, please put comments below. If you have any um, pictures, tag me in Instagram. It's my name just like it is on, on YouTube. So please feel free to tag me on any pictures that you have that you've done. I'd love to see some of the stuff you've created with maybe the things I have here. I do want to say thank you for taking the time to watch my channel. If you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing or refer me to a friend. And as always, you have a choice, so make it a beautiful day. 